channel ayari this is shruti laya uh, so thank you for giving me so much of love for my last video for the cognizant uh, here i am with the new video that is with the process of wipro they are hiring for 2022 so let's check the process of 2022 hiring by wipro so when you are talking about the wipro hiring process wipro is considering all the colleges and all the branches it means that it is not on campus it is called as an open campus drive so whoever are eligible according to the criteria of wipro they can apply for the wipro hiring so that is for 2022 pass outs only so telling you in all the videos that before going to apply for any recruitment process we have to check with the eligibility criteria so what are you waiting for let's check with the eligibility criteria of the wipro so coming to the eligibility criteria the first point is degree and the streams so here wipro is considering b btech me mtech all streams are eligible except fashion technology textile engineering agriculture and food technologies so apart from this branches the student whoever are from the different specialization are eligible to apply for the wipro and next proceeding towards the percentage criteria so wipro is considering 60% throughout throughout means again starting from your ssc to the graduation till last semester what you have studied you have to maintain 60 percentage of criteria or equivalent cgpa and year of passing has a said you in the very first slide that it is for 2022 pass outs also wipro is allowing you with the gap of 3 years again the gap should not be in between the course it can be after the completion of the course for example after your 10th you can have one year of gap after your intermediate you can have one year of gap that gap will be considered but whereas in your four years of graduation you should not have any gap it means that you should be a full time student for the engineering or your graduation also you have to complete your degree that is your graduation in four years so this is about the gap which they are considering i mean we pro is considering coming to the next main point is the package so we pro is offering package of 3.5 lakhs per annum and the location it will be pan india you need to accept the joining from the wipro wherever they provide you for the joining location so that is under the location and the next point under the eligibility criteria the main point is backlogs and the service bond so wipro is allowing you to have one active backlog during the registration again note the point that wipro is allowing you to have one backlog during your registration it means that when you are registering for the wipro you are allowed to have one active backlog provided when you are joining the wipro you should have clear all that backlogs so it means that during the joining time you need to have zero backlogs so you can have your backlogs provided you have to clear all those backlogs once you are joining the wipro and the bond you have to sign 12 months bond if, for example if you are moving in between that 12 months bond from the wipro you need to pay rupees 75000 to the wipro because you are breaking the bond so this is all about the eligibility criteria so you need to follow all this eligibility criteria strictly and then you can able to apply for the wipro so this year wipro has come up with a new point that is uh, they are taking registration through superset and the role which you are applying for the wipro is project engineer 3.5 lakhs with the role of project engineer so let us see the registration process of the wipro so coming to the registration process has i told you that wipro is taking the registrations using superset platform so superset is a platform where you can register yourself by the variable companies or different companies where you can track yourself whether you have shortlisted for the online test whether you have shortlisted for the technical test whether you have shortlisted for the hr test all these details can be seen in your superset profile so here superset profile is nothing but which gives your status when you are applying for the particular job so there are many companies who are using superset platforms for the registration so wipro is one among them 
So once you are done with the registration process using the above link, here the last date of registration is 15 September 2021 and the online assessment will start from 25th to 27th. It means that you will receive an email once you get registered yourself in the superset from the Wipro stating that your online exam will be on 25th, 26th or 27th of September. So once you are done with your examination, your results will be announced further. You can go with the next round. So here the online assessment date, please note it. It will be in between 25th to 27th. And the assessment platform, as usual, which they are using from last two years, that is an AMCAT. So Wipro is hiring using a light national talent hunt. So the hiring of Wipro is called as a light national talent hunt. And the registration platform already told you it is in superset. So here when you are applying for the Wipro, please note that they will recruit you for the two roles. So one will be for the package of 3.5 lakhs and second will be for the package of 6.5 lakhs. So first one is for project hiring and the second one will be your turbo hiring. If you're good enough in your online assessment and meeting a cutoff which is suitable for the 6.5 lakh, they will send you an email stating that you're eligible or you can upgrade your offer to 6.5 lakhs provided you need to attend technical and HR interview for the 6.5 lakhs. This is only when you do good or you have high coding skills and that you have to show it in the online assessment. If your coding skills are high and you're good with your coding, then Wipro will automatically consider you for the turbo hiring for a package of 6.5 lakhs per annum. Otherwise, you will have an offer for the package of 3.5 lakhs per annum. So mind it, please keep in mind about these two packages and make yourself prepare uh, for the topics which are required for the two differential packages. So next, see the selection process. Wipro altogether, it consists of only two rounds. First round will be your online assessment. Second round will be your business round. Coming to an online assessment, online assessment is divided into three sections. First section is your aptitude section. Second will be your communication section. And the third will be your coding section. So online to online assessment will be completely for 128 minutes. So if you just look at, at aptitude section, it will be for 48 minutes. And the questions which will be given is 52 questions. So you have to attempt this question very thoroughly such that you have to clear this online assessment. And always keep in mind that there will be a sectional cutoff. There will be a sectional cutoff. There will be a round cutoff. Everything will be considered. So sectional cutoff in the sense, for example, they will consider the marks from this section. They will consider the marks from this section and they will consider a marks from this section. So you have to keep in mind that whatever the three sections which you are seeing under the online assessment, it is having some sectional cutoff and you have to consider it. It will be also a topic cutoff. For example, you have three topics in the aptitude. So this will be having a different cutoff. This will be having a different cutoff and this will be having a different cutoff. It means that you have to thoroughly get prepared for the quantitative, verbal as well as logical. Three parts which is coming under the aptitude should be very good when you are writing the exam because they are considering sectional cutoff as well as they are considering topic cutoff. So keep this in mind as per the instructions which I am giving you, please follow it. So it will be easy for you people to clear the test of the Wipro. So this is about the first section. Coming to the second section, if you see that is written communication, you will be given one essay questions and you will be given 20 minutes of time. So one essay question you have to write very clearly because Apart from this round, that is aptitude and coding, communication, written communication round is considered as the important round because this round will check your verbal and communication skills. So whatever you are writing under the essay, make sure that you're not doing any spelling mistakes. You're not using any in inappropriate words. Use simple English. Do not use backspaces more. So instead of using backspace, you can use tab. So keep a note of these points. It will be easy for you to write uh, this test 
that is written communication test also there are number of platforms where they'll give you uh, a practice test for the written communication so practice more on it so that it will be easy for you to write an assessment uh, in the wipro so this is about the written communication coming to the third one that is coding assessments you will be having two coding questions first coding question will be a general one and it will be easy one though they tell you that you have complete 60 minutes for two coding questions you should not spend more time on the first question since that first question will be easy whereas coming to the second question it will be little bit tougher than the first coding question so when you are attempting first coding question see that you are not spending much time on the first coding question which is a general one coming to the second coding question has for the previous experiences as for the last drives in the second coding question most of the question will be asked from the data structure only so try to make yourself good with the basics of the data structure so that it will be easy for you to attend the second question that is your second coding questions whereas i suggest you to spend more time on the second coding questions because whatever the test cases which you see under the coding questions you have to solve it so if you partially solve the first one that's okay but the second coding question should be solved completely so see that all the test cases are satisfied for the second question for the first question if you satisfy 50 or uh, 50% test case is also okay because the weightage here will be the first question it will be 30% weightage and for the second question it will be for 70% of the weightage so keep these points in the mind and attend the online assessment and clearly you can see under the aptitude you have three point that is quantitative verbal and logical quantitative 16 questions verbal 22 questions logical 14 questions and with respect to that you have timing that is 16 18 and 14 minutes so this is how you have to prepare for the online test that is for the wipro 2022 hiring so once you are done with this online test you will be moving towards the business round so let's see what are the points which you need to keep in mind in the business round so the points where hr will more concentrate is on your communication skill on your technical competencies on your willingness to learn and professional attitude so when i talk about the communication skill when you are going in front of an interviewer that is your hr round you have to speak about yourself very fluently so this round is nothing but you have to be yourself so whatever you know about yourself you have to project very clearly in front of the hr so do not panic just be relaxed try to remember all the topics which you have already prepared and whatever you know put it in front of the hr be confident and talk very fluently and uh, try to convince hr by being yourself so this is all about the process of the wipro thank you so much uh, if you feel really uh, that this uh, video helped you for uh, cracking the interview of the wipro Please like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you all all the best. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.